Hey, this is Robert Plank from WPImport.com and I want to show you how to automate your content posting so that it shows up on Twitter. I'm talking you post to your blog, it shows up on Facebook. You post to your blog, it shows up on Twitter. And we use a tool called Zapier to make it happen so that way you can get the traffic to your site that you need and that you want and it doesn't involve you right you can load up your site with a bunch of articles you can use our WP import tool to do it and then when things play out on your Facebook page your Facebook group anywhere else on social media it takes a lot of your own manual leg work out of it so we're gonna use this tool called WP import and we're gonna use this other free tool called Zapier. So Zapier has, like we said, a free version where you can run, I don't know, like a handful of zaps to get the hang of it. And this is one of those tools where you're going to love the free version so much that you'll eventually upgrade. And so Zapier is this tool where you do something on site number one, and then something else happens on site number two. And this can be all kinds of things, but just to make it simple, we can make it where when you post on your WordPress blog, it shows up on your Facebook page. And again, if we wanted to make things crazy and complicated, which we could, but we won't. If we wanted to make things crazy complicated, we could say that when you post to your YouTube channel, then it creates a post automatically on WordPress. When someone else posts to their YouTube channel, it makes an update on your Facebook page. And technically, you could monitor 10 different YouTube channels. And then if one of those YouTube channels posts a video that triggers a certain keyword, then it will then post to your own sites. And you can do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. But let me just demo for you how to do this where we post to our blog, it appears on social media. And what we're going to do here is we'll, uh, we'll first check out our WP import site and we'll load up some content. And so with WP import, you can upload a zip file full of articles or you can also enter pages or posts manually here. So we can say, I want to post onto my site once per week and then we'll turn comments off for those posts. We'll get it ready. And now we have a screen where we can put in a title, we can put in content, title and content. And then I'll go to YouTube. And then we'll say on YouTube here that we could search for WordPress and just find the latest and greatest how to make a WordPress site in 2019. So we'll paste that as the body there and we'll say how to make a WordPress site in 2019 and find something interesting, make money blogging. All right, then we'll say make money blogging with WordPress. And what's great about WordPress is you can, you can literally have just this YouTube link and then it will put all the, the fancy stuff to play that YouTube video right there on your blog. And then, why developers hate WordPress. Sure, let's use that too. And we don't necessarily have to use the same title, but let's just do it to, to be simple. And we can also add in our own text, our own content above and below. So we'll say why developers hate WordPress. So we'll post these a uh, spaced about a month apart, and then we'll get this scheduled. So now because of WP import, we have these, I, I guess these are once per week, I misspoke. So every week there's a new post coming out about WordPress and it looks like we have one that's live. So this how to make Word, a WordPress site in 2019 is live. And then when we look at our upcoming posts, we can see that we have two are scheduled, two are coming out soon. And so that's great, but now we need to get some eyeballs on that. And that's where Zapier comes in. And so the thing about Zapier is that you can just kind of play around with their wizard and see what happens. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to show you a couple screens that might not make a lot of sense. So we can see that previously Zapier has seen that when we post to YouTube, it updates our Facebook. Zapier has seen that when we post to YouTube, it updates our WordPress blog. Previously, Zapier has seen, let me find something interesting. 
well, there's these blog posts. So yeah, th th these ones are where I post on my blog, it updates my Facebook page. And so I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll make it so that when this site we're looking at is updated, then it will update our Facebook page. And so what we'll do here is, and we don't need any plugins for this, we'll just use Zapier. We'll say, make a zap. And then we'll, uh, we want we want the thing that that triggers this to be our website. So we'll search WordPress, our WordPress site, and then do we want it where if there's a new comment? No, we want it if there's a new post on our site. So new post will trigger some sort of action, and then we have all these sites. So we'll connect an account, and then the URL is wpcrusher.com slash blog and then we enter our username and password for that blog and so I'm going to need to check this in the other window copy my password paste my password in and then we'll make sure and name this for later wpcrusher blog and then we'll test it all right, cool. So now we know that our username and password is correct there. Then we save and continue. And then what we want to do is we want to say that uh, if, so if we have a, a published post, then continue. And then it says, so you have a post that says how to make a WordPress site in 2019, right? So we can see that it's able to connect to our blog. You can see that the, that latest post is that thing that we just now added, this how to make a WordPress site in 2019. And then so you can see that we don't need to know much. We just kind of click around, go to the next step and then see what happens. And it says, now we've created the trigger, right? We've created the thing that sets this off. And next we need to have it go do something. So it says, add an action step. And then the action step, you see that we could do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? We can post to Twitter. And what we'll do is we'll post to Facebook and we'll post to a Facebook page. And then we'll, we don't want to add a, a, a photo or video. We want to create a page post. So we click on that. Whoops, let me get my head out of the way here. Then we click save and continue. And then if you didn't have a Facebook page connected, you would click on connect an account. And so I've previously clicked on connect an account, a pop-up appears, you log back into Facebook. And then I think, okay, so now that we're connected to our Facebook, it says, well, out of the Facebook pages you control, which one do you want to post to? So this is cool, right? Because you can have 20 blogs, 20 Facebook pages and choose which ones post to which. And so I'll post to my Robert Plank uh, page. And then you plug in what you wanna plug in. And what we'll do is we'll plug in for the title, the how to make a WordPress site in 2019. And then the link URL will be the link of the Post pretty simple, right? Just plug it in. So we make a page on our uh, a post on our blog saying how to make a WordPress site in 2019, and then on f our Facebook page it'll post how to make a site in 2019 in WordPress, and then link to our blog there. And we continue, and then it says now it's time to make a test. So just to recap real quick, I know we're clicking around doing a lot of things. We went here and created a trigger, which is a new post on our WordPress site. And then we said the action is post to our Facebook page. And now it's time to test it. And what we do is go to Facebook, go to our Facebook page. And now we'll see what the most recent post is. And after we run the test, we'll see if our page has updated. So the most recent post is from six hours ago. So we'll switch back to Zapier and click on send test to Facebook page. Now it's posted. 
we go back to our Facebook page, click on refresh, and fingers crossed, there should be that post. And if it's not formatted the way we want, we can go back and change, but there wasn't much to it, right? Just plug in the title, plug in the link, and here we go. Now we have how to make a WordPress site in 2019. And if we had, uh, I think we, we could have plugged in a, an image, but let's not get fancy. What we know that works is if we post to our blog, it then posts to our Facebook page. So we know that that worked. And then what we can do is click on finish and then name our Zap WP Crusher blog, turn it on. And then from here on out, even if we have a whole blog's worth of stuff scheduled, then whenever a new post appears on our blog, then it'll post it to our Facebook page. And let me show you this again. So the most recent post here is how to make a WordPress site in 2019. And then we could go to our posts and see how this next one is scheduled to release in a few days from now. We can edit it and then make it live right now. And I think I might have to change the date. So I'll change the date to, let's see, 1639. So now this post went from scheduled to published. We'll visit the site. And now the topmost post is how to make money blogging with WordPress. And we can go back to Zapier. We can and so normally we would have to wait 15 minutes. So you could take a break, come back and check your Facebook page, or we can just do this and say run the zap now and go go and check our WordPress blog and then post to Facebook now. So we'll manually run it without having to wait 15 minutes. And then when we refresh our Facebook page again, now we see that the make money blogging with WordPress post is on there. And now I have one other uh, kind of maybe a little bit of an advanced tweak for you here is now we can edit our zap and you can add in, well, first of all, you can add a filter. So you could say only post to this page if there's this keyword in our post, but you can also add this thing in here called a delay. So this is really interesting, right? Because you can load up your site with a bunch of stuff and then Zapier will take its time posting to your Facebook page. So you can click on delay and we can say delay for And so this will be in minutes. So we can, and oh, we can choose the, the format. So we'll say six hours, delay for six hours. And so this means, let's say you go to your blog and you make three quick posts. Well, what it will do is it'll wait six hours before posting that post. It'll wait six more hours. It'll post the next one. So you can just load up your blog full of content using our WP import tool, but then Zapier will take its time updating to social media to give people time to see it and comment. And so we'll send the test to the delay and continue. And then we'll enable it. And now what we can do is go back and do one final test, go to our website, you can see that we have these posts. We have May 23rd, 1654. So May 23rd. And switch this last post here from scheduled to published. And then we wait 15 minutes and it runs our zap again. And then now it's on a delay and we can go and look at our history. And we can see here that some of our zaps ran and especially that one we tested before where we post we updated our blog and it posted instantly well now there's another post but you see how it's delayed here it's delayed and then in six hours it will actually post so zapier is a really advanced tool but it's something that you can jump into right away and the best thing about it is that you don't have to worry about any plugins you can say 
I want the, the starting point for my zap to be when I post to my WordPress blog, and I want the ending point on my zap to be post to my Facebook page. And so I think that this can be really valuable for you, especially if you're using a tool such as WP Import to get a lot of posts scheduled on one screen or upload a zip file containing lots and lots of articles. So make sure that you check out WP Import if and when you get a chance. If you're serious at all about your content marketing, if you think that you can get, have the best of both worlds and get a lot of stuff scheduled automated and then devote your time to creating the content, devote your time to the marketing and not so much to the technical side of things, then use Zapier and use WP Import. This is Robert Plank from WP Import. I hope you like the plugin and bye now.